Hello and welcome to a short demo on taxonomy processor for XPRL. The distribution of the tool consists of a taxonomy processor jar which we execute by double clicking on it. So this is the GUI for the tool. Initially we provide the taxonomy directory, the root taxonomy XSD file, the output directory and the entity resolver path. Once all these values are provided, we click on generate to generate the DT projects and the Informatica Power Center workflows which would process an XPRL instance file for this taxonomy or which would read data from the relational database and generate XPRL instance file. Let's click on generate. Once the output file has been generated, we go and see the output file. So this is the output which has been generated. We have two DT projects, one to process the XBRL instance file and one to generate the XBRL instance file from the relational data. We also have two power center workflows for the same purposes. Then we have a DDL script which gives us the data definition for the fact tables and the reference data tables. We also have a data model HTML which gives the data model in an HTML format. After this, we can use the tool to import the power center workflows into our power center repository. For this, we provide the local Informatica home. We provide the domain name, the repository name, the username and the password. Once these details have been provided, we'll click on test connection. This populates the folder list. Click on OK. We select our target folder, which is demo underscore finrep. After that, we provide the check-in options. For example, do we want to check in the generated object? What would be the check-in comments? And how will we resolve the import conflict? Let's leave it as default for now and click on import. So our workflows are imported. So this is the mapping that processes the XBRL instance file. We provide the input file path. The data goes into the UDT and this populates the data into the fact tables. Let's go and see the mapping parameters. These are the mapping parameters. The output file, which is the temporary file path wherein the intermediate files are created. The XBRL jar path, which contains the path where the jar file is given, which processes the instance file. Then we have the validation flag, which tells us whether we want to check for XBRL validation. The entity resolver path and the lookup file path. Lookup file path is also generated by the taxonomy processor. Once all these values are provided, we go to the Informatica workflow manager and we execute the workflow. Let's execute. Once the workflow has succeeded, we can go and see the database. Let's see the database. Let's go and see a fact table which starts with F. So this is for a profit and loss table. Let's go to data. So this is the data that has been populated in the relational database. Other than the fact data, we can go and see the reference data. For example, we can go and see a reference data for an explicit dimension. So these are the various values which are applicable for this explicit dimension. In addition to these uh, explicit dimension values, we can go and see the definition uh, reference data, for example, for metric child or for the hypercube rows. Once the data has been populated in the relational data, we can go and execute the XBRL uh, creation uh, workflow. So this is the mapping that creates the XBRL instance. It reads the file from various fact tables, passes the data into an UDT, and this UDT generates the XBRL instance file. Here again, let's go to the parameters. We have the output file, which again, where again the intermediate files are generated, the entity resolver path, the ZAR file path, the lookup file path, and so on. Once we have provided the values for all these uh, parameters, we click OK, and then we go and run the workflow. And the XBRL instance file is generated. Thanks.